good sunny morning from Loch Morlick. How beautiful is it looking in the sun today? It's uh, 8 o'clock ish. I'm on at 11 today. Uh, welcome to my next video by the way. Bit more positive this time around. I'm going to have a positive video where nothing goes wrong. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd bring the dogs down to the lock while it's sunny and nice. Don't go chasing that duck. I don't I don't think she can see it. <laughs> she can hear it. <laughs> I took them to the pub with me last night. They were actually quite well behaved um, for these two. <laughs> you can see quite a bit of dumping of snow on all of the tops. I think we are predicted for more snow this week, Monday today. And I just want to say a big massive thank you to everybody that's reached out after my last video and offered me to send me things and buy me things you're all so so lovely and so sweet and i really appreciate every single one of you reaching out to me you are all amazing um i'm very very humbled about how kind everyone is but today i'm just going to apparently the other director's coming in today so better go and spruce myself up and uh, not look like i've been dragged for a hedge backwards <laughs> and i'm going to meet him I'm on an 11-8 shift, so I don't finish till late. And then tomorrow is my last shift of the week. Oh, Daisy just got spooked by some food, I don't know what. Uh, and then I'm on two days off, so I'm going to go and do a bit of exploring, hopefully, if the weather stays like this, because it's currently beautiful. Uh, just coming back from my walk, I'm on pitch 107. I've just seen the tail end of a red squirrel disappearing into the woods. Sam, one of the other lads, got one at the squirrel feeder. But there were loads of them in the lakes and I never saw one, but they're quite abundant here apparently. Oh, how cute is that? They had a big bushy red tail. Well, so cute. Oh, my awning carpet has arrived. ta -da. So I just need to figure out how big it is. Shift some stuff around and get it down, but I don't think that's going to happen today because I'm just on my lunch and I am on an 8 o'clock finish tonight. It's going to be late for this. I'm tired today. Oh well. Time to make some dinner. Let my doggies out for a pee. Crack on with the day. Evening all. So that's my 11, 8 o'clock finished. Hello Daisy dog. Hello Daisy dog. <laughs> I'm going to let these two out for a week. Warm up some stew. It is very cold and it's trying very hard to snow. There's like tiny flurries of snow. So we don't know if we're going to wake up to some in the morning, but it is cold tonight. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going for a shower. Don't know if I want to go to bed with wet air at this time. I'll see how I feel. Morning, beautiful people. It's my last day in work, and I'm on my two days off. Oh, my hat's a bit ski whiff in it. Look outside. It is snowing. Probably can't see. There you go. I had a very light dusting when I woke up this morning and opened the curtains, but I didn't bother going out the van. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty not great to work in because it's bloody cold my feet are freezing after just walking these two around the tent field are you cold? what's the matter? <laughs> what's the matter? hi Daisy I've had to put the bed away because my painkillers were in that drawer and I had an headache so I got up and put the bed away and got my painkillers and I could see uh, but yeah, one more day in work and two days off. So uh, tomorrow the plan is, well, loose plan. I'm going to get that driveway off and take Gladys for a run down into Aviemore to Aldi and Home Bargains and do a shop because she needs a run and I need to see whether this water level moves or not. So we'll give her a bit of a run down there and see what happens. I think a lot of the places are dog friendly so I have quite a few of you I'm going to do a proper thank you but lots of lovely generous people have sent me buy me coffee so I am going to get myself maybe a little drink in Aviemore I think the coffee pot where I went is dog friendly so I might take them with me and leave the van parked and all day I think you can park there for two hours um, they used to do parking overnight there when I was last in Aviemore but apparently it's recently changed and now the signs up saying I think it's a maximum of two or three hours 
well, obviously people were parking overnight quite a lot, taking the mic maybe. I don't know why they've changed it. But the campsite's only 15 minute drive down to Avimo, so it's not too bad. Before I head into work, I've just got to show you this. Snow's coming down a bit more heavily now. It was just tiny flakes before. We are predicted for snow for the next couple of days. So, and definitely a lot more on the top up near the ski centre. But we're a little bit further down than that, so I don't know how much we're going to get. Brian says it tends not to stick around long this time of year, so see if it does. So pretty. I like watching the snow, but I've got to go to work. Okay, that's me done for two days. So I'm going to have a shower, put my jammers on, and try and catch up on some YouTube, maybe. Um, and then tomorrow we are, us, me and these two. I'm going for a run into Aviemore. The coffee pot is dog friendly and some people sent me buy me a coffee so I'm going to go in there and get myself a drink and maybe a toasty and then I might go for a walk in Aviemore. Don't know, we'll see. I think you get two hours on Aldi. So I'll pick you back up in the morning. I know I said I'd be back in the morning but that was a fun half an hour so I have a bad idea of leaving the awning door open so I can go in and out of the van and into the awning. I was asked to start closing it because there was a poor little bird stuck in there and it took me about half an hour to manage to get it out. It was terrified, bless it. I was finally giving it a heart attack. Um, so I was trying to be as gentle and as calm as possible. In the end, I managed to shoo it out and it went underneath the van. Poor little bugger. Poor me. My heart's going like crazy. It took me forever to get a poor thing out. Luckily, these two were in the van. <laughs> i just come back from washing my pot, so i just leave the door open. Well, not the uh, door to get out, but the door in between the van. It's obviously come underneath the van or underneath the wheel and gone into the awning. Ugh. Well, that's done anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I might watch some telly. I might just get the bed out and watch some telly and be lazy. Good morning, people. 7am. So I had half an hour in. But, look... <laughs> Oh, a fair bit of snow. It's still snowing. Oh, I was going to drive to Harvey Moor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see. <laughs> Bloody hell. I'm currently seven o'clock in the morning, on the day off. I'm bashing all the snow off the top of my morning. <laughs> Because it was all bowed in and it's quite heavy. Most of it apart from this bit. I was supposed to get out that way, it's about by the driveway. And then we have to drive bathe the drive into having more I think. So I'll try and have a cup of tea first and now my little stove. The gas thing won't lock in. Oh, my fingers are freezing, so it might be something to do with that. <sighs> Great start to my day off, eh? Check it out. Drop a winter wonder on. Put their jumpers up. <laughs> this is a beautiful. I'm going to go into the woods and see what it's like in there. Oh, okay, it was people's diesel eaters. <laughs> Decided to take this little path through the woods today for a change. How beautiful does it look? So pretty. Maybe I'll see some red squirrels because you'll be able to see them in the snow. Come on, they two be right not bed this morning. <laughs> the snow's turned dug into an extra not bed. You were extra not bed. Come and see what the beach and the lock look like, whether it's managed to gather on there. Whilst I'm having a little walk through the woods, I just want to say a huge thank you to Jane Smith who sent me. Um, a wetsuit, gloves, booties, a hat, a hanger. Thanks Jane so much, you're so kind and yes I probably will try and get in the lock this weekend. <laughs> we'll see, I'm feeling brave enough. It doesn't actually feel that cold out actually. It's not that bad, not with my dry robe and my hat on. So I'm going to go and see what the lock looks like now. I've had to bash all the snow off my awning again because it has been dumping a little bit more. I hope the road's clear on the uh, road into Aviemore. 
I just want to do a few thank yous while I'm on the subject of thank yous. So Helen Jackson, Motorhome Mums, and David Shepherd, thank you so much for your buying me coffees. Like I said, I am going to use some of that money today if I can get into having more. Take these two muppets into the coffee pot, get myself some food after I've been to Aldi and on bargains because I'm very low on supplies at the minute. I'm going to see if I can fix my stove because otherwise I'm going to have to buy another one of them. Um, another lovely person, Spud and Alison there sending me a cooker. Hopefully that'll be here in the next few days but I need to get some gas for that too. So I'm just going to have a look at my super thanks and do them and then I'll show you the block. I just want to say a big thank you for the last few super thanks in my last video and the video before but Dr Mong, Anne O'Drallum, Big Truck, Maeve James and Adrian Hunt thank you all so so much um, it is really really helping me I'm just marking where Doug's done another poo um, yeah it's really helping me all of these super thanks and buying me a coffee so thank you so much you've all been so generous and so kind and I am really appreciative to have you all behind me. It means so much to me, so thank you all. So this is how pretty the lock looks when it's snowing. The beach under the snow. <laughs> how stunning does that look? I'm actually really glad I got to experience it snowing up here. It's absolutely stunning. There's only a light, a light bit in all the trees over there, you can see. you got the little ducks looking cold. I absolutely love it here. It's just such an amazing place to be. I had to put the knobheads back on the leads because there's other dogs around. And Daisy's frightened still after the fence attack and Doug's just on the bed. <laughs> So I'm going to go and cross the bridge and go over the river, go that way a little bit. Because they seem to be full of beans this morning, so I'll give them a bit of a longer walk. The snow must make them full of beans. I was talking to a guy the other day, uh, such a lovely chap, and he was talking about how he thinks ley lines run through this place because every time he comes he feels really calm and happy. And I have to admit, as soon as I stepped foot onto the campsite, I did feel a lot calmer, especially after my uh, rough drive here. <laughs> um, and I do wake up each day feeling more happy every day. I don't know if it's the place or if it's me, but it's working wonders for me. I haven't even been for a run yet. I don't want to run in this. I'll fall on my butt. But I've... Uh, damaged my last contact lens so I'm waiting for some new ones. I can't run in my glasses, I just fall on my butt. I don't know why I just can't look down and run wearing them. I don't like it. I'm just going to finish taking these for a walk, feed them the breakfast, see if I can fix my cooker, cook myself some breakfast. don't know what's going on with that. And uh, try and take the driveway off. There's no way I can mark out where the van is because it's covered in snow and by the time I drive off it'll probably be covered in snow again so I'll just have to try and line it up when I get back. I have to admit I am a little bit worried about it because um, I've never done it so I'm not worried about getting it off, I'm worried about lining it back up with the awning. <laughs> I'll see, see how I get on. Might have to get somebody to come help me. <laughs> I've just been walking and talking with one of the lovely guys that's on site. Um, he's got a beautiful setter, what a pretty dog. But I think these two have had enough of walking, so we might head back, try and get some breakfast, try and get this van out. It's actually still snowing, so I don't know what the road's going to be like. I might have a walk up before I get Gladys out and see. Then probably sit up coat till tomorrow. Unless it's going to be worse tomorrow. Decisions, decisions. This, uh, it's quite deserted in the woods, there's not that many people about. It reminds me of one of my favourite poems by Robert Frost, Stopping by the woods on a snowy evening. Excellent. I love that poem, so I think I'm going to tell it you now. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer 
to stop without a farmhouse near, between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake, the only other sounds to sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely dark and deep, but I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. traumatic enough so let's see if uh, god this is gonna start Oops, let me just drop that fingers crossed eh let's take a gear <laughs> that would be fun sound and he's sitting on his new dog bed. What's the matter? Are you cold? <laughs> so as you can see I have set the awning up, carpets down, I've got myself an air fryer and a kettle because that little cooker that I had has just given up the ghost. It's a good job for uh, lovely Spud and Alison are sending me another one. Um, but the stupid thing is it's full of gas canisters for it so oh well. It is what it is, isn't it? Um, I got this as well. <laughs> it's only like four quid in Aldi, how cute is that? So I figured I could spend more time in the awning now that I've put the extension cable out and I can have the heater running here. I was just uh, setting everything up and listening to my music and somebody complained. Maybe I had it on too loud, oh well. Anyway, these two seem to be happy, trolling around in here. And that I bought a bit too much stuff in Aldi for my fridge, but it doesn't matter too much because it's quite cool. So it's not really a big deal at the minute. But yeah, pretty pleased. It's not it's not fully down over there. I've struggled to lift that up because it's quite tall and I'm quite short. But I'll figure it out. Yeah, pretty happy. And with the heater on, it's warm in here. Well, not warm, but getting warm. So I think I'm going to sit and answer some YouTube comments and you've all made such lovely supportive comments so thank you so much everyone and watch the snow it's still snowing as you can hear on the roof I have to keep bashing it because it gets all, all pool in here but yeah hopefully with the heater on it'll melt it a little bit don't think I'm doing much else today I was gonna go for a walk but no, it's only quarter to two I feel a bit knackered after my traumatic experience with the awning. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get it off and I'm such a pleb because I didn't unpack it. <laughs> I suppose it's the first time I've done it. Um, and then there's two clips on this side that the pegs are held in on this side. And I haven't done that either. <laughs> such an idiot. Oh well, I know for next time. But good news is Gladys does not seem to have lost any water. 
and it's about 12 mile round trip to Aviemore. I don't know, don't know what's going on with her. Maybe she just had a bit of a blip. Maybe she's just not feeling it that day, <laughs> like all of us. So I'm going to keep uh, running around her as much as I can and just seeing. Um, I think I might get a shop delivered next week though because it's Easter and it's going to be mental. I don't think I'll have the energy to faff around with that drive away. Good thing is I seem to have drove the van into a good position and it's a bit more right than it was. It was a bit ski whiff but yeah. So I'm going to settle in and answer some YouTube comments and just chill out and I might go for a walk later. It depends how I feel. editing with the heater on but I'll show you what I've done so you got the dog bed and cozy blankets heater kettle air fryer yeah, I've used it I had a pie for my dinner and the snow it's still snowing and it was coming down proper heavy before I just have to do the awning again and I have to try and get it off the driveway a bit I'm just not tall enough <laughs> but it all uh, came in here and knock stuff off here because it was quite heavy. You can hear it all coming off the roof. Hope it doesn't do this overnight because I won't be awake to do it. The one problem with awnings when you've got a heater on inside it's the condensated. I didn't go for a walk, but I've done a bit of editing. I haven't just been procrastinating. I did sit and stare at the snow for a little while while I was drinking my brew. But um, he's been snuggled up on my knee fast asleep and she is enjoying the new bed. So I think I've got a parcel to collect from reception. Hopefully it's my contact lenses. Maybe I can get out for a run at some point if it stops snowing and I don't slip on my bum because that would be all I need before the Easter madness. I need to go fill up my water bottles, maybe put my washing on. But yeah, it's just going to be a bit of a, a chilled afternoon, isn't it, dudes? Evening, it's like four o'clock now. We're all knackered, look at us. He's falling asleep, stood there. I've just been sat nearly falling asleep on my chair. <laughs> Tempted to go and get the bed out and have a nap. No, I won't do that because I'll as well sleep tonight. Uh, yeah. That's what uh, getting the driveway on enough does do you, makes you tired. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to have for my tea, I think I have my little air fryer, I might do chips. What have I got? Don't know. Pine chips maybe, even though I just had five for my dinner. Might have pine chips, I need to get the, this snow off this driveway, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might have to go and nick a broom from the boiler room and try and get it off. I've just been called over to reception to pick up a parcel. I didn't think my contact lenses were coming until tomorrow. So I had no idea what it was going to be, but <laughs> I'm going to show you. So I opened up the packaging and I was like, no idea what this is. And it's all in this pretty little box. And look at all this. So it's from Julie and Conrad Goff. Oh, Julie, thank you so, so much. It's really cute. So nice of you. Thank you. It's actually made me want to cry. Um, so yeah, so treats for the dogs and oh, chocolate orange. That's my favourite. Oh, you're so sweet. Wow, loads of chocolate. That'll go with my prosecco nicely tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. I'm uh, so chuffed. <laughs> Thank you. So I've just hung up my little uh, plaque that Julie and Conrad got me. How cute is that? That's a good reminder to stay strong, no matter what's going on. So I think I might let dogs out for a pee and make myself some tea. 
before it goes dark and then I can do my pots, have a shower and go check on the van. Okay, let's see what we can have for tea. And then I can go and wash my pots while it's still light. Because I hate I know the blocks on there, but I hate going out in the dark. Roll on summer. Pots are going forward soon, aren't they? This weekend? Thank God for that. Put my own potato. Tippies, yeah, and a pie. I made that quiche. Chips and pie or chips and quiche? I don't know. Decided on chips and quiche, so I've got to turn the heater off because I don't want to trip the electric. And then do my air fryer and then do brew and eat my tea. Well, they were a bit crispier than he intended, so obviously I don't need to put them in the air fryer as long as I thought. But in the meantime, I'm going to tuck into my tea, and I've got these two wanting to tuck into my tea too. Can I help you? Hmm? And you? Not for you. <laughs> and I'll beat you back up and I finish because I'm hungry. This is where I wash my pots. Um, it's currently locked to the public, but I think we are opening it this coming weekend. That line is fixing, but it's now is. It's actually very annoying. But yeah, because obviously I have no running water in the bath, I'm going to have to come to the pot wash. This goes in the bath. Tea towels. I've got one. It's currently in the wash. Damn it. I'm off the man of it, so it would just be me and the dogs. This, there aren't that many pots. Because I don't tend to eat breakfast with pots of milk and tea. This morning I didn't even have any breakfast. Because we're faffing around with that all in for God knows how long. So this is just my dinner and my teapot and I don't have breakfast for mobiles. I'll so let me cook them now. Get me head if you want screwed on not. So then I'll just pop them all on here. My mum gave me this little table. She was going to chuck it out but it's been ideal. Um, and if you're wondering what I do on the road, I just boil some water. Obviously wash everything in the sink dry it away and put it away but um, empty it down a drain but luckily I'm on site and I've got pot wash bit of a change of scenery I've come in the van because he's slowly getting used to the awning but he's taking his time about it she's quite happy but she's not happy unless she's touching me so she was all right in the awning because she was sat I was on the chair with my feet on her bed and she had a red on my feet <coughs> Pussy little doggos. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have a shower and 
put pyjamas on and just stay in the van now. I've got all the snow off the yard and it seems to have stopped snowing. This is just a sludgy mess on some of the roads. It's a problem with snow. I'm back from my shower and while I was in Aldi I treated myself to a very cheap bottle of fizz. Um, it's come from some of the money that you lovely lot have sent me so thank you so much. And it started to rain and washed the snow away. So it's quite, quite profound really because nothing lasts forever. Bad feelings don't last forever. Good feelings don't last forever. And life has its ups and downs. So tomorrow all the snow will be gone and I got to experience it in Glenmore where it was totally beautiful. I'm really happy that I did. But I think that's a reminder to me and to everyone else to count your blessings and grab life by the balls and do what you want to do because you only get one shot at this as far as we're aware and you've just got to go for what you want because if you don't do it now you probably never will and that was my philosophy so everybody tells me I'm brave I don't feel brave I feel scared <laughs> a lot of the time but I refuse to be one of these people that is on my deathbed saying I wish I had. Instead I'm going to say I've done everything that I wanted to do within reason because I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> so I can't, I can't go like flying helicopters and stuff like that but I can aim for it. So that's a life lesson aim for the sky and if you fall short at least you tried. And I'm going to end this video and uh, sit and enjoy my fizz and edit this video for you lovely lot I'm going to say thank you so so much for all your continued support you've all been absolutely amazing and lovely and sweet and your comments and your messages they all mean the world to me and I'm really really grateful to every single one of you so thank you so so much and I'll see you in the next one see you later